Well, peeps, I made it back to Detroit. I just parked the truck. I missed my bus ride home because, you know, I catch the bus. I've been gone so much on these trucks. I don't have a vehicle here. The truck is my vehicle. So, but I'm back at the location. This is the corner of uh, Michigan and Wyoming. This is where all the fiasco started. This is the location where I done had two jobs and a possible. Right here at this corner here in this area. So, it ain't nothing really here. Look, the bar across the street for the guys. I'll give you a little flash of that. Little topless bar. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. They had that cross the street. But, I ain't saying back here. I'm gonna go take care of some business with my apartment here. This is embarrassing to have been gone three weeks with this company, Western Express, to be back home. It ain't got shit to show for it. I'm broker than I left out of here. It don't make no damn sense. I left out of here three weeks ago, and I'm back here in the same goddamn position. And it don't make no damn sense. I don't know why these recruiters do this shit. I don't know why the trucking jobs here local do this shit. Because I could have stayed local. If they wasn't, they were doing the same shit as over the road. Just lying and playing games. Everything a game with every goddamn body. Even now, the uh, I'm trying to see if I can find another company or a better company. And the company I was looking at, they trucks is is like Volvos. And since I've been talking to that that recruiter lady, all of a sudden just nothing but Volvos coming around me. I, I it's, it's just games. Everything I do is a fucking game in the street, and I'm tired of it. And it, the result of it, it, it was eviction status. It's about to lose my apartment. It's about to happen all over again because next month rent is due, and I don't have that either. So. I'm back here trying to take care of some business with the apartment. And then I got to find something better than this. Life is going to be better than this. I don't know who the fuck did this or why the fuck they would do this damn shit. I didn't put myself in this position. Position like most would say. All of them would say. Motherfuckers ain't never know me. I'm in strange states. But she put herself in that position. No the fuck I didn't. You and your lies put me in that position. See, I'm the motherfucker that don't tolerate all these lies and you want me to work for you. I'm an independent contractor. I was recruited out of Detroit by Western Express off of false pretenses. And I'm in a worse off position because of them than I could have been before I left. I could have stayed here and just waited it out and found me a local job and never had left here. I had to jump up on a truck, get more in debt with lease purchase, trying to get my rent money. Money I should have been able to get in one week as lease purchase. Not here at this company. Always prolonging you, wanting you to wait. The, the trucks I had to choose from was, was not, I mean, what the fuck. I started to turn around and leave and go home then. I mean, it was just a total waste of time. Same here in Detroit. Uh, the next corner down the street, I don't know if you can see down there, was a job, a local job I had got before I took this, this job here, before I ended up deciding to go over the road. Told me they ran for Ford Dearborn. That's why I accepted the job. It was a temp service. I showed up for my first day, went in there, next to know this guy. All these, I mean, he just kept saying it to like I had flashbacks of what the fuck happened to me at Chrysler. We run for Chrysler, 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 Chrysler. This shit just like echoed in my motherfucking face. And I walked the fuck up out of there. She told me Ford Dearborn. Then when I called her on the phone, she tried to make it seem like I misunderstood her. I didn't misunderstand anything. See, it's shit like that that these people keep doing and then turn around when it causes a catastrophe, they try to clean it up, try to make it look like you misunderstood or, or, or it wasn't what you thought it was or what they said it was when it was. It definitely was. And they need to be held accountable for it. Now, if that guy was lying to me about running for Ford, I don't know why he would do that because he caused me to walk, walk out the door when he said all they do is Chrysler. I can't do anything for Chrysler. 
until Christ will acknowledge what they did to me, pay for what they did to me, I can't do anything for you. And I think that's another reason I'm having problems with my truck. These trucks is manufactured by Daimler. They were, they were part of Chrysler. That may be another reason I'm having problems with these goddamn trucks. Everything, everything, every problem I have ricochets like a boomerang right back to Chrysler, Warren Truck Plant. But they didn't hold them accountable for it. So I'm back here. I'm sitting down here on my little stoop here. I usually sit on when I'm waiting on the bus. I just missed one, so sitting here eating my little M&M's. About to fuck all I can afford, thanks to Western Express. Can't come in, get no Uber to the house. Uh, you know, got to get on the freight chain, sit out here dark. Same location I'd be if I was getting off work. If I took, if that job had to be bullshitting me. I know you need to stop this line. This line y'all doing is causing a lot of problems, and y'all need to be held accountable for it because I'm sick of it. I'm 50, and they got me going so far backwards in my life when I should be preparing for retirement. My money in the bank should be looking like I'm ready to retire. I ain't got shit. I'm 50, and in more debt than I should have been or ever was in in my life dealing with this goddamn trucking. And all they got is fucking games. All they know how to do is lure you in, get you to work for them, and then find ways to get all the money off of you. Fuel, the truck, every damn thing else. It's one thing or another. And I'm sick of it. All the hell, you got to be a truck driver. That's a skilled. That's a skilled driving. That ain't no anybody driving. And the money I made at this company in the past two weeks is fucking ridiculous. And I'm highly fucking pissed off. Try to cover it up talking about some uh cash advances even when i add the fucking cash advances back in it's still nowhere near what the fuck i should have made what the fuck i should have made on my first two weeks of truck notes them the first two weeks that they give you a chance to get yourself established get you some money built up before the truck notes start coming out no not here i don't know what the fuck it is or why I'm not making the money. Or the reason I didn't make the money. I don't know. But they make damn sure they get their money. The maintenance fees and the pilot and truck stops all get their fuel. All that shit. I have no idea why I didn't make the money. I keep looking at my settlement over and over again. To see if I missed something. There's some other bullshit deductions. Nothing I can come up with. And these two settlements were all without a truck note. So imagine if I got six hundred something dollars without a truck note. Wait till that motherfucker start. I'd probably be so pissed I could throw that truck from Detroit all the way back down to Nashville, Tennessee. And the end result of it is I'm going to end up bringing the truck back down to Nashville. When I get through taking care of this business at my apartment, then the truck is going to have to go back because I can't do that. You, you, you can't use me. These motherfuckers like to use people. And then you like to lie. I didn't come to you lying. I came down and I told that guy when he recruited me. I said, I'm in eviction status right here. I'm like, now, if everything you say is true, then I'm on the bus and I'm coming down there. And I get down there. Everything was a fucking lie and a fucking disaster. Western Express. Why do you do this shit to people? You responsible. Companies like you responsible. Your recruiting tactics is responsible. Fucking crazy. Now look at me, back here in Detroit, got to deal with some, ev take care of my uh, eviction situation. I'm, I'm not evicted yet, but I came back here to check on my apartment to see my status. Uh, uh, you might as well say the shit finna start all over again because now March rent is due. So I came home, I've been out three weeks, I wasn't able to get all the rent in full, so I'm back here, decided to see what I can do to get out this goddamn disaster. I'm tired. The money I made, I could have stayed the fuck home. Who the fuck want to get in debt with the IRS for 657 damn dollars? Oh, 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 excuse me, with the 300 cash advance, that was about 1,022. But I'm living on the road, paying out 1,400 in fuel, 
300 in the maintenance count. A couple of more hundred for the, the insurance and every damn thing else. And I don't even know what the fuck the truck note is because it ain't started yet. But they told me when they recruited me down there, it was supposed to be all in one set price. How about 970 something, he said. One set price. That's for your truck note, your insurance, the maintenance, everything. 900 something dollars. And you get a brand new truck. Fucking lie. Everything. Now I'm back here sitting on the fucking corner in Detroit. Got to go down here. I'm going to my apartment. I've been gone three weeks. I don't know what I'm going to find to uh, get out of this. I'm looking for that big money. Somebody is determined to have me broke. Somebody is determined to direct my life in, in, a, in a way they wanted to go. I'm 50 fucking years old. I should be balling as a truck driver. And and, and every, every goddamn company, I'm right back here, sitting on a motherfucking corner with my bag to go back to the fucking apartment and start all over again. And I'm fucking 50. I'm tired of this motherfucking bullshit. Why don't you stop the goddamn lying? Stop the games. Admit what the fuck you doing and knock it off. Damn.